Hi, da ga ho, and I assume I greet, and welcome to my little Cantonese corner. So today we're talking about the difference in the thank yous. Because in English, thank you is pretty universal. You just say thank you, and you don't have to worry about what situation you're using it in, or if you're using the wrong thank you, because there's just one thank you. But in Cantonese, there's two different thank yous, and you use them in different situations. So the first one is ngai. This one right here, m gai. So m gai is I like to think of it as the more general thank you, the more casual thank you, um, because it's used in a lot of different situations. It's used when you do want to say thank you for some service, usually an act, some an act of service or something that someone does for you, like they hold the door open for you. So you'd say oh m gai m gai um, m gai. Or um, maybe um, the mailman at your building maybe takes a package for you and that you then, um, they give it to you when you come home at night because maybe your mailbox is so small that the package can't fit in. So you would say, oh, I'm guy, if they do that act of service for you. Um, it's also a way you'll hear it a lot as uh, please, as a way to say please. For example, you're on a tram in Hong Kong and it's super crowded as they usually are and you've got to get off the tram and there's tons of people in your way. So you'll hear people say like, oh, I'm guy, I'm guy, I'm guy. Well, I guess that would be our next one. That would be more of like, excuse me. So it is used for excuse me um, when, like I said, you're trying to get off or get around people. You'd say, oh, I'm guy, I'm guy. And just a way to say, excuse me, excuse me. Um, so that's another way to use m mm, guy. Um, and the please is, why did I write please? I think it's like if you're in a shop, um, well, not I think, I know that if you're in a shop and you want to get somebody's attention, you're like, oh, oh guy. And then usually that's a way to get uh, a waiter's attention if you're in the restaurant. Or if you walk into a shop and they're busy, you could start the conversation if you need to ask a question, just saying, um, mm, guy. Or if you just want to get their attention, you're ready to, to check out, you could say, Mm guy, and again the m mm is low, low tone. M mm guy, so it's quite an easy one to say because it's very distinct. It goes from the low to the high. M mm guy, okay. So that is again the more general, casual kind of thank you. But there's another one, and this thank you is used when pretty much when you're just given a gift or a compliment, and this one is the. Thoughts eh. Thoughts eh. is, um, yeah. If somebody gives you a gift, you're like, oh, thoughts eh. Thoughts eh. Or a compliment. Wow, you look really nice today or something. Oh, thoughts eh. Okay. So if somebody pays you a compliment or gives you a gift, thoughts eh is the one to use. And this one goes from high to low. So the thoughts eh. And I've seen it actually written D-O-L-L, -L, like doll almost in English, doll. Thoughts eh. It does have a bit of an L sound, and I don't know why that is, but I can hear a bit of an L sound, but the phonetics don't have it in. But if you hear an L, it's, I mean, I do, so thoughts eh. Thoughts eh. So you might want to use the doll as a kind of reference. And I hope that doesn't mess you up. But, um, so anyway, that's the mm guy and the Thoughts eh? And then if you want to put the very or thanks a lot um, or thanks, why did I say very? Thanks very much. Thanks very much. There you go. It's really late at night. It's like two in the morning. So I apologize if I'm a little bit punchy. So um, if you want to say that, saying thanks very much or thanks a lot, you would say the same mgai, but add the sai. Mgai sai. Mgai sai. Or thoughts eh sai. Okay, adding a sai. You'll probably hear that a lot um, if you're in Hong Kong or if you're around Chinese people a lot. They'll say thanks a lot, as we do in English, and that would be ngai sai or thonsai sai. Okay, so I hope that helps to clear up any misunderstanding you may have on the different thank yous used in Cantonese. And um, I should have started with this, but I'll end with this today. Gamyat hai yiling yatalin. 2017, Hey, November 27th, 2017. Thank you so much, 
or I would say, Dalze Sai. Thank you very much for joining me here on my little Cantonese corner. Until next time, comment below and subscribe to my channel, and thank you so much for watching. Dalze Sai. Bye bye. Dalze Sai.